Today we've got a very exciting soap. I'm doing a collaboration with Glinda, whose YouTube channel is Beautiful Soaps by Glinda. She messaged me and asked if I'd like to do a collaboration with her. And of course, I want to do a collaboration. I love doing collaborations. So we are brainstorming ideas together and we ultimately decided on creating a soap that is inspired by our favorite movie. And there are two requirements for this collaboration. The first requirement is that the fragrance needs to be related to either the movie theater or the movie itself. And the second requirement is that there needs to be a special ingredient that relates to the movie. The movie that I chose is the Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which may surprise people because it is an action sci-fi movie, might be defined as a boyish type of movie because there's a lot of guns and science fiction explosions. This movie was released on July 3rd, 1991 in USA. It stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Linda Hamilton, Robert Patrick, and Edward Furlong. And it was directed by James Cameron. It's hard to really explain why this is my favorite movie in detail, but I can just basically tell you that I think all of the stunts are awesome. I think the dialogue is great. I think the acting is great. And it's even got bits of humor scattered throughout. And I just... I just think it's a great movie. Yes, this is a VHS tape. I am one of those VHS enthusiasts. I think they are better. The only thing VHSs are missing is sometimes commentary is pretty cool. So let's talk about the ingredients in this collaboration soap. First of all, my special ingredient that relates to the movie, rose petal powder. Now you're probably thinking, rose petal powder in an action sci-fi movie? How does that relate? Well, there is this really cool scene where the Cyberdyne Systems Model 101 Terminator, aka Arnold Schwarzenegger, is walking down a hallway and he has a box of roses. And in that box of roses, he has a shotgun, which this scene makes you think that he is a bad guy, when in fact, he is the protector of John Connor. The fragrance I chose relating to the movie is called Fire and Ice. I chose this fragrance because of the scene where we are given false hope thinking that the enemy has been destroyed because he gets frozen with liquid nitrogen and exploded by being shot with a gun. And so he's scattered into tiny little pieces all over the ground. And this happens to take place in a steel mill. So there's like sparks and heat everywhere and fire. Then we realize the enemy is not destroyed because he is liquid metal. He is pooling back together into the T-1000, which is the bad guy, which we need to destroy, but we don't know how. Okay, also, we are going to include pumice powder. I'm including pumice powder because it is a very fine ground stone. Lava rock, I think. But I think that tiny bit of exfoliation fits well with my design that I'm creating because it will feel like there's a very fine grain in there. Also, of course, a little bit of sodium lactite. Soap dough today, just a little bit. Activated charcoal because that seems to fit with burning and smoke and fire and epic moments. Also going to be using a little bit of firecracker red mica as well as silver mica, titanium mica, and gun metal mica. And those are all of my special ingredients, excluding the oils. Let's go see how I make a Terminator 2 inspired soap. Here we've got some soap dough that I had made in the past. This is not even close to being red enough. So, got here some firecracker red. So I'm basically just gonna fold this into it. Disclaimer, wear gloves when you do this. I am being an example of why you should wear gloves when you do this. And I want this to be as long as my mold. Here we have our melted hard oils. Uh, no, it's not completely melted. I knew you'd notice. And our soft oils. Next, we're gonna add in our sodium lactate, pumice powder, fragrance oil, and that's it. Pumice powder is basically like a very fine sand. Now our lye water, it's just lye and water. Whoa. 
Now, I'm going to attempt to separate this into two equal parts. We've got some beautiful batter here too right now. Okay, now for one, I'm gonna leave uncolored. So there's that, that's done. This one, we're gonna add in our beautiful rose clay, which will not stay beautiful. I think it'll change as soon as we, yep, do you see that? As soon as it hits the batter, see the brown? Oh, I wish so bad it would stay that color because it's really pretty. Too many reactions for the sensitive, fragile little roses. And then we are also going to add titanium mica. Both of these were dispersed in oil, by the way. All right, so this is gonna be the base color of this. We're gonna add a little bit of soap to gunmetal mica, as well as activated charcoal. And here is some silver mica, which I'm going to put a little bit of uncolored batter in there. I'm just going to hand mix it and stop fooling around with that little battery operated mixer. These are dispersed in the oil from the recipe. It is not extra oil. I'm going to pour some of these micas into here. Okay. And then the activated charcoal. Pouring from way up high, by the way. I'm not pouring all of it because I highly doubt it's reaching the bottom. I am going to pour on both sides and hoping that each soap will keep the other separated. Come on, white soap. Come on, colored soap. This is hard. Double-sided brain power. Okay, now that my dark batter is losing some of its darker color that I poured in, we're going to pour some more of that in. This is our uh, gunmetal activated charcoal. Here we go again, trying to watch both spouts at the same time. Now I'm gonna put my little embed in and as I like to do, I covered it in activated charcoal. We will just set it in there And even though my batter's thick, it's not getting out of hand, which is so wonderful. And we'll put in our activated charcoal and kind of stab that a little bit. Now we will attempt to finish pouring here. First, I'll scrape the uncolored in here, try to finish that off. And now our dark metallic batter here. This is too light, the silver. I don't want it to be so light. So I'm gonna squeeze it into one of these dark cups. So the T1000 wasn't that light of silver. This is like wedding ring silver. We're looking for amnipolyalithoi silver. So now with this, I really just want globs of silver. I'm going to bang it down to kind of flatten those peaks. There we go. I'll be back. Today is tomorrow, and let's see if this is ready. Ooh, that's cool. Look, that's so cool looking. If you know anything about Terminator 2 or you've seen posters, this soap design is supposed to be the Terminator's face after half of it gets destroyed, basically. And you can see his red Terminator eye, and this part would be his metallic side of his face, and this would be his uh, human-looking side of his face. Looks good. I like it. And I really like the red that we ended up with. Very nice. 
And on top, this is the liquid metal from the T1000. So I would certainly describe this fragrance probably as masculine, which is fitting for a Terminator 2 soap. It is a masculine fragrance. Oh, I really love this. I love the jagged lines. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy with how these turned out. Well, while we're cutting the soap here, I may as well ask all of my viewers, if you have an opinion, what's your favorite movie? I really enjoy movies. So it really would be interesting to me to learn what your favorite movies are, if you have one. It's okay if you don't. Movies, I would say, are a hobby. That does not mean everybody is interested. Well, I am really excited about these soaps. Wholesale Supplies Plus says that this fragrance discolors to a, a light tan. And I'll just take their, their results with a grain of salt. Since I had a very traumatic experience with one of their fragrances that said there wouldn't be any problems. I'm going to cut this into samples because it's too small to be a whole bar because I was cutting my bars slightly, slightly larger than usual. We have waited four days. The fragrance is slightly discoloring. It may continue to discolor as they predicted, which is fine with me. It won't, it won't bother me at all. It's predicted to be a light tan and that's okay. But I am so happy with the design. I, I love it. It's simple, but it's exactly what I was going for. We have our trusty side stamp. I like the side stamp. It's nice. The fragrance is good. As I said in the making of this, I'm confirming it after the bar has started to cure. This is a masculine fragrance, but I'm totally going to use it because it smells great. Now, Seeing as this is a collaboration video, I am going to encourage you to check out Glinda's video, which the link for her video will be in my description, and you'll get to find out what her favorite movie is and see what design she decided to make based on her favorite movie. I'm excited to go check it out. Also, there will be a link to her shop where you could buy some of her soaps. Check out her video, subscribe to her if you don't know her, and check out her shop. We soapers really need to stick together, so let's do that by supporting each other. Anyway, see ya. Actually, I should in the video with... Hasta la vista, baby.